Welcome to Weenie Trades. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Bitcoin, BBIG, and Amazon. So let's get right into the video. First up, we got Bitcoin. Bitcoin having an amazing day, up 7.83%. Looks like we just had another pop. If we look at the daily time frame, we're really approaching these all-time highs. Boy, Bitcoin has really taken off a lot faster than I had anticipated. That's okay though, that's why we have investments as it pushes up higher. Recently, we put in a nice good bull flag and now we're starting to pop. If we do pop, just let's just duplicate the flagpole and that can give a reasonable extension from the breakout area. And that'll put Bitcoin at about 72, 73K. I think that it may take till the end of the year for that to happen. Short term, everybody's getting a little bit bullish. And of course, here it is moving higher. But as we get closer and closer to those all-time highs, there's going to be sellers that are going to sell in front of all-time highs, past all-time highs, whatever it may be. I would be patient and wait for a pullback back to about 59K. It depends on how much Bitcoin exposure you want. And if you're a Bitcoin bear, then hey, why even bother listening about Bitcoin? So Bitcoin probably can pull back short term. 58K is the dip buy. Otherwise, probably headed to that bull flag extension of 72K. Next up we've got is BBIG. And BBIG had a, actually a down day, but it had a very volatile morning session. Well, if you watched yesterday's video, what did we say? Oh, watch out for about nine, maybe if you're conservative, 8.80. There we go. High of day, 9.06, decent pullback. Uh, lower high, higher low, lower high. It was just a bigger bear flag straight into a drop into the close. And that's probably because on the daily time frame, we've already moved up so much. So look, we moved up one, two, three, four, five days in a row. Generally that warrants for a little bit of potential sideways to slightly lower action. So just be careful on BBIG. Of course it could uh, definitely break bullish and maybe come up to something like 9.8. Yeah, that, that, that would be this gap fill over here. Otherwise, BBIG, if as long as it holds hourly, so pull up your hour time frame above $8 a share, I do think that the short-term uptrend can continue. So that is BBIG. Lastly, we've got Amazon. And boy, Amazon had an amazing green day, up 3.3%. I think they were talking about something about video games. I'll definitely have to double check the news later, but that doesn't matter as much because price action is king. We'll look at Amazon on the daily chart. We hit this resistance. If you learn, if you were watching earlier Weenie Trades videos, I was talking about, hey, what about this Amazon Iron Condor meme trade? Well, that meme trade would have paid the first two days of the week, but after that, Amazon just really put in higher lows and broke out, and it broke out today. And what I quickly wanna show you is how implied volatility changes on a Friday. So here on Amazon, we got this tight consolidation range. You can see that our high points are up here at 33.13 and our low points are down here at 33.06. Right there, we start to break out. But when Amazon breaks out on a Friday, you would, you would expect it to go up maybe like $10, something of the sort. Well, Amazon just kept on going and we were able to identify Amazon right at about you know 33.30 and boy, the volume just kind of barely crept on in. If we look at the call option contract though that expires today, we can pull this up and look at this. The call option contract, there's it's only priced off at $24. This is the Amazon 3350 strike call. $24 turned into $6,300 and that is just in one day. And that's because the rate of change at which Amazon went up was much more than expected and so the IV inflated the implied volatility, the range of Amazon, and this call option became deep in the money and became worth quite a bit of money. So it was once a worth, uh, con worthless contract, one that would normally have sold off and gone to zero, most of the time, in fact, it'll go to zero, became very, very valuable. So $24 into 6,300, and that's just grabbing a strike price that was not expected to hit for Amazon, but Amazon did that distance and then did that distance times three almost. So it was like a six sigma type move, as they say, to opt more standard deviations outside the mean of the bell curve. So pretty cool stuff. This is why we want to scout these option strategies because if you watch the title of the stream, hey, scouting for market inefficiencies. So really cool stuff. I thought Amazon's move was a little bit more impressive than Bitcoin's, but Bitcoin's isn't uh, too bad. So congrats to Amazon, congrats to Bitcoin. Good Friday. Can't wait for trading next week and hanging out on the stream. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.